Okay, so obviously we can spend a lot of time designing our app icon and you will once you really get into this because then you're going to want to have every aspect of your app perfect. That the code runs perfectly, that it behaves perfectly, and that it looks perfectly. So um, the icon is one of these things that you're going to spend some time on and if you have artistic ability you'll you'll see that you can put that to good use. If you don't, you'll see here that I just took a few shapes together and uh, put something and it's okay and I'm going to use that. Later on in the course uh, I'll give you a couple of icons that you can use if you want but if you've got your own icons um, that's a little better because you've made every aspect of the app. So this has been my work in progress file and that means that when I've been, as I've been working on it, um, the the project has been has been editing, has been a work in progress. I forgot to mention it, but do you see at the top here? You've got a tab. I'm currently working on my project, Icon 512, a bunch of info, and then at the end here, there's a little asterisk. There's the X. Don't click the X. That closes it. But next to it, there's an asterisk. If you see an asterisk, that means you haven't saved recently. So that wants to remind you to file, save, and then the asterisk goes away. So if you haven't saved recently, make sure you save it. You can do Control S, like many software, or you can go up to File Menu, Save. So this is our work in progress file. I want to now turn it into my final graphic file. Because my instructions say create 24-bit ping files with transparency in the following dimensions. That's the next step. Notice I don't have any of these instructions anywhere here because I can't assume you're always going to have Photoshop. I'm going to mention another software in a little bit that is actually completely free for you to use. Photoshop is not free. It costs uh, like $40 a month to use. Uh, and so if you buy the one-time fee or pay the one-time fee, it's also probably like $400. So Photoshop is expensive. But in a little bit, I'll show you a version of Photoshop, this other software that is free on the web. And that's why I don't have instructions that say, do this, because you might use different software. It's just saying, create these graphics, however you do it. Next, what I need to do is save this PSD file, this icon PSD file, as my final ping file, PNG. So we'll do it like this. this, is one of the faster ways. Go up to the File menu, actually this is different, let me just check something, export, save for web legacy, mm. let me just double check this, because not every version has this. So I haven't used the latest and the greatest Photoshop, I'm looking at this also new. So let me just do it the classic way for the moment. Let's go to File, Menu, Export, Save for Web. File, Export, Save for Web. We're going to save this. Even though it's saying the web and we're going to end it, it's going to end up in, a, in an app, this still will apply because it'll give me various options. So Export, Save for Web, get this screen with a bunch of options but there's presets. Now first of all on mine for example I see a weird halo effect. I put a drop shadow behind this object and then I see this weird effect here. It's the wrong format and yes that's how it would look as my icon on my on my device which will look terrible. So on the top right of this save for web screen on the top right, you see preset, unnamed. Click on the black triangle of preset. You have a bunch of presets. So we've got ping 24. That's what the instructions say. Save your graphics as ping 24. So select that preset, ping 24. And it should also activate the option here that says transparency. If I didn't have transparency, my icon would look like this. White background behind the picture, it'll look really bad on the, on the phone. So make sure, ping 24, transparency. Mm -hmm. 
and down at the near the bottom it says this is going to get saved as 512 pixel sized. My documentation says we need the largest dimension of 192. So we started with a large graphic because as I said it's okay to take a large graphic and shrink it down. It's not okay to take a small graphic and upscale it. So we can down sample it from this screen here. So let's change 100 and Let's change from, 100 and, uh, from 512 to 192. So type 192 on the width and it automatically changes the height. Uh, press tab just so that it jumps to the next box and then it also shows it smaller. Okay, so I started with the very large size because I might need the large size for various reasons. But right here, for, in Safer Web, we can create the different sizes that we need. So would everyone change that to 192? You should send, then see at the bottom, save, dot, dot, dot. Let's click Save. So what would you like to save this as? From this screen, we're going to save it directly to our Android project folder. Remember, I've got a folder in my project folder that we made called res, and there's a folder in there called Android. So within my save as optimized screen, it's saying, where would you like to save this at? So I'm going to go to my flash drive where I've got my project. Go to your project folder. So I'm in my project folder, then go to res. Open res folder. Open Android folder. And we're going to save it with a name of file name icon 192 because this is the 192 size. And then click save. So now in my folder, I've got the 192 sized file, which will look great on the modern devices. I'm going to do the same thing again, save for web, and this time choose the next smaller size, save it again to this folder, then the next smaller size, and the next one, and the next one. So starting with a large size, I'm going to save the smaller size. So I'll do it again. I'm in Photoshop, File Menu, Export, Save for Web, the next size down that I have here is 144. I did 192, I need 144. So, oh good, it remembered I want to ping 24 transparency. That's saving some effort. But I do need to remember down at the bottom here, image size, 144. So it shrinks down the preview, it's 144, save. Oh, and it also remembered in the folder that I was using a moment ago. So I'm going to save it into this folder, icon 144. So this is going to be a little redundant. I'll do it one more time, then we'll take a break, and you need to do the other ones. So I'm saving my icon 144. Save. Let me do it one more time. I'm sorry, the PNG is still 24, right? That's right. We don't need to change that. Make sure also it still says transparency. File, export, save for web. My document says, what's the next size? 96. So, width of 96 height of 96. I'm covering all the bases of the different sizes currently of Android devices. So 96 size, and then of course save my icon 96.ping. So 
So I'm going to take a break at this point then. You need to do the last, um, the last three. And then when we come back from the break, we're going to add the code so that our icon now becomes part of our project. So do the next three. It's 7.30. We'll take a break until 7.40. If you need any help for anything, call me over.